What's up, y'all? DJ Triple Nine here. Um, thought I'd throw something up, uh, show you guys how uh, even though the Time Sync uh, feature in Virtual DJ 6.0 is really good, it's not always spot on. Um, what I've thrown up here is a uh, a remix of uh, Sharam with Natasha Bedingfield doing the one, um, pretty popular in Europe. Uh, one of my favorite songs. Uh, with one of my personal remixes with uh, Hot and Wet by 112. Uh, now you've got something that's serious house music uh, along with something that, although it's got a bit of a house beat to it, is more on the uh, hip hop R&B thing. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a first mix and uh, all I'm going to use is a sync feature. I'm not going to line it up by ear at all. And uh, I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And uh, you'll get a good example of here of how exactly the sync feature doesn't always line quite right up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and back off here and uh, zoom in on my screen and uh, do my best not to get my uh, arms in the way of what's going on. Uh, what I want you to do is watch what my mouse is doing and uh, watch me hitting those sync buttons that you see there uh, just below the turntable on the right hand side on the right deck and on the left hand side on the left deck and uh, you'll see uh, basically the the beat counts on the bottom of that signal uh, lining right up with each other and you'll notice that the song doesn't really line up at all so uh, here we go <laughs> So now as you can see, uh, and even here, that didn't sound right at all. Um, this is where it comes to uh, being a real DJ and understanding that uh, sometimes things don't line up right. The main reason that doesn't happen on this song isn't because Virtual DJ doesn't know what it's doing. Actually, I find that it's one of the most accurate systems when figuring out the beat count. Uh, it's just the way that it measures it. Um, first, let's listen to my remix of 112. Now, the hi-hat's coming off of that electrical guitar that... And that's what it's counting the beat off of. Now let's come over and let's go ahead and play uh, Natasha Benningfield. See, it's got a much more pronounced kick drum. And that's why when you line things up using the sing feature, when you're having a song that's more uh, focused on the higher notes versus a house song focused on lower notes, uh, that's when you're going to run into issues. So uh, again, this is something you want to practice, you want to check out. Uh, I'm going to back off just a little bit on this so you can see the signals here. One trick you can do, it's not always accurate, but it works in this particular case, is you'll notice that you've got your... Uh, peak lines on your blue and on your red uh, you can see how you get low you get high lining those bars up with each other on the blue you'll notice that the uh, the little squares on the bottom don't quite line up right um, those are pretty accurate because those spikes are actually your bass signals um, again do not use that as a gauge use it as a ballpark take advantage of your headphones unless you know your songs extremely well um, there's only one DJ I know of that can get away with it like magic that happens to be DJ Scotty boy down in rehab much love I don't know how you do it man um, but uh, the rest of us we're just uh, us mere mortals just gonna have to settle for headphones so here we go again I'm gonna go ahead and remix uh, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to start out with 112 and I'm going to work in Sharam and uh, I'm going to do it uh, playing it by ear and uh, not going off of those time signals and uh, hopefully it'll work. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, you can. 
this drink, plus a little thicker than grit. She gave it to me cause I got a lamp on my wrist. And I popped it through ice cubes on my face. Damn, 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 my right I'm like, sorry, get it pissed. I'll pull your trick, be like, excuse me, miss. Walk in with me, girl, you know the on the list. Fly, fly around me, just on top of shit, damn. So there you go. Um, you'll notice I zoomed in on the signal there just to show you that the squares aren't lining up. Um, I'll even zoom in here. You'll notice that as the song progressed, uh, you probably didn't see my arms uh, moving back and forth, but you saw that I kind of kept up with the signal. Uh, obviously, I can't, can't keep pressing sync to keep things in line, so I got to watch the turntable, slow it down. Um, uh, I see a lot of DJs who like to tweak around with the pitch. Um, I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy. I like to touch the turntable, maybe tweak the uh, tweak the center, slow down on the outside, keep it lined up. But you'll notice even right now where I stop the song that the signals are just a hair off. Um, sometimes you'll notice that songs are exactly a half bar off, uh, or I should say actually technically two bars off, because you'll notice that the hi hat is actually two bars out of sync with the uh, with the kick drum on another song. Uh, but again, guys, you got to learn to play this by ear. Uh, you saw what I did here. I even went back and forth between the two songs just to show you how things were staying in line. Uh, I was using my headphones. This wasn't all going off of what I saw on the computer screen. Again. Make use of your headphones, get a good pair so you can hear yourself in the club. Uh, don't count on the booth, don't count on your software. Um, remember guys, this isn't just lining up music, this is a bit of an art form. So, uh, hope you guys learned a little bit from this. Um, again, DJ Triple Nine coming at you. Hope you liked it. Practice, enjoy, have fun, love what you do. We'll catch you later.